Cardinals coach Frank Baserk, and we're going over infield. Uh, today we're going to be looking at hits to the left side of the field with no runners on and with a runner on first. So let's get started here. And remember, if you have any questions, if you're not with our program, this will work from youth all the way up. Um, these are just the basics. There's many different um, things that could happen in a ball game, uh, but these are the most common ones that you see, and you can work with your coach on some of the different scenarios that may come. Now, this first one here, the ball is going to be hit to the shortstop or the shortstop area. Now, if a ball is hit in between third and shortstop, yes, third baseman, you are absolutely fine to break to that ball and try to make the play and throw the runner out at first, or if there's a runner on first, throw them out at second. So anything to the left side, no runners on. Pitcher, you need to charge here to the third base side just in case you need to cover the bag if the third baseman happens to take the throw. So this one here is going to be a ground ball to shortstop. Uh, charge, get your body in position. The quicker you get there, the more time you got to get your feet and, and your arms uh, ready to throw. Now everybody else, remember you're either ball base or backup. So everybody should be moving on every play. Let's take a look in motion of how this plays out. The pitch comes in, the batter hits the ball, it's out towards the shortstop area. So shortstop's on ball, first, second, and third, and this scenario are taking base. Right field, center field, and left are backups. Pitcher goes to cover third, ball's thrown to first, and we get the runner out. Let's take one more look at this in motion. The pitch comes in, ball's hit to the shortstop area, shortstop, Covers ball, first, second, and third are on base. And the right fielder, center field, and left fielder are all back up where the ball could possibly go. Pitcher goes to third just in case we need help over there. So pretty easy. Again, get to the ball quickly. Get down. make Get into a good fielding stance. The quicker you get to the ball, the better you have a chance of getting your feet in position before you make that throw. Now let's move on and look. This time, there's, uh, of course, less than two outs and a runner at first base. Uh, the ball, again, is going to be hit to the left side of the infield. We always want to, if possible, get that lead runner. So we're trying to get the lead runner at second base coming from first. The second baseman, as he receives the ball from that shortstop, should then pivot and try to get a double play. So let's take a look at this one in action. And again, the same scenario. If third base goes to help out shortstop, that pitcher has to be there to cover third base. Let's take a look at this one in action and, and see that it's pretty close to the same. The only difference is where the ball is going, and we're going to try to double this runner off. Pitch comes in. The ball's hit to the shortstop area. Shortstop will take ball. Second, first, and third are on bag. Pitcher comes over to back up just in case. Right field, center field, and left field are back up. Ball goes to second base. The runners are going, and the seven ba second baseman can pivot and throw to first base. Let's take one more look at that in action. I don't know where you may play more often or not, or there might be a position you want to uh, try out for or take. Take a look and see what these the, what they do. And if you're not sure, back somebody up where the ball is going or or where it may be. So the pitch comes in, ball's hit to the shortstop. Shortstop is going to take ball, second, first, and third on back. Pitcher's going to go over to third or back up third. Right fielder's going to be in position in case there's an overthrow uh, on that ball going to second. The runners are going, and the second baseman receives the ball to get the runner out at second. All right, uh, again, talk to your coaches if you have any questions. Uh, if you're part of our program, we'll continue to go over there this and speak to your coach in our program if you have any questions. Remember to play hard, play fast, and have fun.